Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Art Whisper 88. Uh, today's adventure will be something that's a little more freeform and I am going to use this plastic putty knife as a tool instead of my usual brayer. But before that, let me set up a framework using my black Posca marker. Now this was a gift from a very kind viewer. Now I hear that these uh, markers are top of the line. So uh, this is acrylic based and uh, I hear a lot of good things about them, but they are pricey. So I never really went out of my way to buy them. So thank you so much, dear viewer, for your donation. So I'm going to set up a framework. It's a series of curved lines. It's very free form. Okay. It's kind of like a signature if you think about it. So since this is acrylic based, I am going to air dry this first before I apply my second layer. Okay, my little desk fan has done its job. So what I intend to do today as a second layer is use these lighter colors. This is light blue by Artist Loft. This is cadmium yellow by Lucas. This is green yellow by Artist Loft. And this is Unbleached Titanium by Liquitex Basics. So instead of using a brayer, I will use this spreader. Let's start with the yellow. So this will be quite free form. Okay, let me start with that. Now, I need to add some green. And 
this is metallic pearl. So this is very much like what I would do if this were a canvas and this is oil paint. Now uh, I'm going to try to work a little faster because this is acrylic and I don't want it to dry on me. Again, I'm using Blick watercolor paper. No, I'm just taking a chance. I'm not sure if the Posca marker is going to show up, but I'm going to give it a try. And as usual, I will leave this for five minutes. Okay, let's see what we have here. I think the transfer is pretty good. paper is really stuck on the plate so I'm going very slowly being careful not to 
cause it to tear. Okay. That's a pretty cool result for a first pull. And it's a very painterly effect by using the plastic spreader instead of a brayer. Uh, had I used the brayer, these colors would be a little more blended together. But I was after these textures these knife, kind of palette knife textures. So it's very painterly. So anyway, uh, cool. So let me air dry this and then move on to the next step. Okay, I'm back. Now I've added a third layer of stencils and hopefully this will be the last layer this is mars black and i'm going to superimpose this on the second layer of orange And I'm hope, hoping that this black layer will make the colors really stand out. Okay, I, I think I removed all of them. with the second layer of orange.
hopefully this will be the last layer. See what we have here. Very cool. Check this out. I like that. I think the textures are very pretty. Almost like a uh, very fine net or a mesh. And that's because of the uh, nature of the paper. So I will air dry this and then recap. I think I will be able to use this very pretty ghost print. I'm going to use some unbleached titanium. So this is a very stark contrast to the first print. This will be more monochromatic. Let me just add my marks here. I will leave this for five minutes. Okay, it's been about five minutes. Let's see what we have. I think it's a successful transfer because the plate is sticking a lot. Now one little tip, this is from experience. It's better to pull the paper off from an angle 
like this instead of pulling it straight. It's the same principle as when you pull tape off a flat surface. I really like this. I just hope it doesn't tear the paper. Very cool. I like this. I think this is a standalone print. Uh, this is a mono print in the truest sense. It's just one pull, but it has all the elements, the textures, and gestures, and shapes. So I will air dry this and then recap so don't go away okay here we are at the last leg of this video here is a close-up of the print and as you can see it has a lot of beautiful textures like a fabric almost. I think the uh, last layer of black was a good call. And it does give some definition and structure to this very colorful background. So that's the first print. Now here is the ghost print. very stark contrast to the very colorful first one but I think the pictures are remarkable and even the slight remnants of color are Interesting. Now I'll put these two side by side so you can see the relationship of the two. You can see the uh, identical placement of the shapes. So I hope you like this video. Please share 
and like and thank you so much for subscribing and watching and for those who can please lend some support to my PayPal to help keep this channel going thank you so much and I hope to see you next time